What up, what up? It's Eddie Block. All right, I got this video. First of all, this is a 1955 Chevy Bel Air convertible that I'm working on. I already did a little custom stuff to it, like, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Like I lowered the top back here, then I made the the um Chevy zipper window. I think that that's what they call it. It's called the um the the zipper window. But anyway, this video is I'm trying to help people that don't know how to make lowriders. I'm gonna try to help them make it with this video. So hopefully I can. I'm doing it right in my living room, just straight off the top. I had this set up. Um, getting ready to um, build this one, but I might as well do the video on this one. This for my um, Carlo McSwain. I think that's how you say my brother's name, man. He's a good. He's a good YouTuber. He um, he's a good builder too, bro. And he was just asking me how to do this. So shout out to you, brother, and shout out to all the dudes that asked me how to help them do this. But um, this is um, fifty-five Bel Air. We are gonna start by taking this thing apart. It comes all apart. I just be mocking stuff up. Let's see. push it, come off like this. Let's set the back. Okay, but this is it. This is basically the setup. I try to keep all my stuff nice and neat so I don't flop it off the table or nothing. Okay, all right. Okay, this is a look at the top of the car. This is the top of the the front cylinders. Those are made out of um. Those are just simple rivets. I learned that from my buddy Dre One Only watching him it's very simple man i'm gonna hold this camera real steady so y'all can look at what's going on up in there it's it's very simple to do but you have to do it in order you know you have to keep things moving free and flowing all these little tubes and stuff that i got holding it that's um that's a kroger kroger um What's that? The um, Q-tip, the Kroger brand, though, because their plastic is really hard. Like it's just it's, it's another different type of hard styrene. It's it's um it's perfect for making these joints move with, you know. But this is this is what you're gonna do, man. You're gonna take them a worms, cut them off the um off the tree, you know, and get them all cleaned up. And then you're going to add, um, I left mine, you have to extend the lower arm. So what I did was I didn't take it all the way apart. I just, um, I just cut it back here. I cut it back here because this whole thing was a one piece that sticks on top of this. So I just cut it in half and shortened it a little bit and made my bottom A arm. If you take a look at that, bro, it's just the bottom A arm and it's extended and then it's connected right there. It's very simple. Just connect it right there. And you see how the spring looks? I stretch my springs out. This car has a really good bounce. I can't show you right here, but if I put the top on it, it has a good bounce. But yeah. And so far as making these other little things, it, uh, like the cylinders, stuff like that, Dre One Only got the perfect video on that. He shows you. Just look up Dre One Only um, cylinders or something like that, and it should pop up. I'm trying to lock it, lock the camera on to here so you guys can just look. I'm just going to hold it and just keep moving it around because... And this is another big thing. The way you're going to get this is to actually get in there, tear them A-arms apart, and extend them and stick them on here. Now look at the top A-arm. Look, look how the top one is on there. Let's see. Okay. See, that's just an A-arm right off the tree. And I just added two pieces of styrene on it, the Q-tips. That's it right there. And that that and it looks really shiny on the Q-tips because I'm gonna tell you what I do. First, I put the pieces of Q-tip. I set it with a little piece of crazy glue, just one drop, not even a full drop. And then after I get everything all where I want it, crazy glued in, I go over it with the tester cement. You know, I go over the whole thing and I, it really just reinforces it, basically. So this is really reinforced and it's really strong, even though, and look how simple it is. And those pins, I'll have those cleaned up before the end of the video. And that's another thing. The pins that I use, they're really soft. They're not like, um, 
the hard pins. They're soft and they sell them at Michael's. I'm gonna get a get the pack because that's important that you guys see that. Hold on. I grab the pack. I keep it close right here in my little box thing right here. Hold on for a second. Right here, I keep them on top. Because I always grab at these things. I'll close that up later. But these pins is a big important part of my process. Let me see if I can get one of these jokers out of here. Okay. See these pins right here? And they're soft. Look, watch this. Watch how easy you can bend it. Nice and soft. It's not like those hard pins. They're 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 perfect for the job that we're doing. But yeah, that's the pins that I use. Let's see if we can get a name on that. The Jewelry Shop, one inch, twenty five millimeter head pins, one hundred and fifty pieces. And look how many I've used already. That's all I have left. I better go and get some more. Okay, but yeah. And um, I didn't do telescopic. I did a telescopic cylinder, but a one stage. Okay. Which, you know, when you make the bag, you're going to have to. I always, this is how I, how I get my measurements on my back cylinders, how high they can go. You know, because I want my car all sealed in. I don't, I would, I don't make the cylinders coming out the window and all that. I do it a little bit more cleaner than that. But anyway, I put the back seat on. Let me see if I can get the back seat out. I should have had this stuff ready, man, but I'm just trying to freestyle this and get this out the way. Well, I had the back seat. It's in here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, it's in there already. But anyway, I take the back seat and I put it on there. God, that was like a waste of a whole minute. I take the back seat, this thing, this part right here. And then I, I, I set it in here flush like how it's supposed to be. I tested it. And then I, 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 I let these only go as high as the back seat. Now, what gives you the height when you're making this is these little red cups right here. This little cup that you're looking at, it goes down further into the bottom right there. So that allows the back strokes to have um, a little extra lifts because look how high the back of this one lifts if the top is on there you can you can see a lot better but you get a, a pretty good lift out of it when you use those and look at that they sink in there deep you know they sink in there and that's when that's when the chains come in you know these chains if you don't have those chains on here those cylinders are going to come right out of the cup as soon as you try it so yeah this is um I'll just this is just a project that I'm working on and this is how it's looking. I got all the drive line. This car is actually ready to go. I just don't have any motors. But I ordered them. They should be here like on the ninth or something of next month. Something like that. Something will be here tomorrow, but the Johnson won't be here till way later. But this car is all the way complete, man. I'm I'm making this video because I, I hope this helps somebody out. Because I, a lot of people ask how to do it. It's very simple. When you get it, man, you got it. But everything has to be loose and flowing. You can't have stuff all tight, bunched up together, you know. And if you do, you better know what you're doing. How to, how to make stuff have a tight fit. See me? I had cut out the plastic in the wrong spot. But... So I started to add already. I added that. I added that. Then I'm going to put another piece right here. Just one little strip. Very simple. And this black line is where I had to line up exactly where the cylinders go. Because those things have to be exactly on point. And you're also going to have to put a bearing on them. Or or the little or the little eagle claw hooks that people scratch bill. I like to just put the ball bearing on it. I put one ball on the... um. On the axle, right there, it's inside of a little piece of round styrene, and then I put one ball onto this right here. This I'm gonna tell you exactly what this is. This is a very hard piece of styrene, man. It's really hard. It's actually a stick from my kids when they eat the lollipops. When they're done with it, I ask them to save the sticks, so they give me the sticks. I soak them in water for about man five minutes. And the rest of the little sugar candy comes off. 
And those things are super, super strong. And they're also the perfect size for those little, um, for, for the ball bearings that I use up in there. Those are, um, just regular lifesavers, lollipops for kids. But they have the, that straw, that styrene thing that those, um, pop, um, suckers come on is really, really strong. Oh, that's all that is. This is just simple stuff laying around the house. This is a red ink pen that I had. And you see the gap right there in the middle. That just comes from um, where the little clicker to the ink pen was. But this is very simple to do, man. Once you get it, you got it. And you're going to have to also put a bearing right there. See, I put one in the drive line and I put one into the rear axle. And then, yeah, and then that, um, that right there gives you all types of play with, with this. And then up front, I'll just connect it right to the engine with one more ball bearing there and one in the engine. It's already drilled and ready to go. But these things are specific and they have to be done. And you see those little prongs right there? Instead of using ball bearings on the back, you can simply just use those. You can use those on the back instead of the ball bearings. Yeah, man, just take a close look at this, man, and check it out freely moving up and down has plenty of room to play got the chains on there the drive line oh, this is ready to go bro i just need motors on it but that's not the point the point is that i want you guys to take a close look at this my springs aren't retracting because i stretched them out so that car has a, it has a really nice bounce to it i don't care if they don't retract the car is gonna hop and it's gonna um it's going to have a really good landing to it. But yeah. Now this is Eddie Block. Trying to help somebody out with this lowrider car stuff. That's all it is. Very simple. Those are just two pieces of regular styrene strip. I'm not sure what size. You can use whatever size you like. I use the size that's kind of small but strong and sturdy and this is how the back and you see those bearings working when I do that that whole car lifts up those chains are doing their job those um, strokes want to come out but they cannot because they have a dead stop with that chain all these things that you guys are looking at you're gonna have to do and once you do it a couple of times you'll be frustrated but, but once you keep going, if you're really into this and you keep going, you will get this down packed. It's not hard to figure out. You can see how simple it is. It's just like a real car. It's, it's just doing the same thing that you would to a real car. Except you don't have as many screws. Yeah, you see that? Those are just, look at that. That's, that's a Q-tip, man. A very strong plastic Q-tip. But just simple stuff from laying around the house and bam, there you go. Take a good look at this, fellas. This is how it goes. There's other guys that's doing it. There's some other videos out there that show probably better than me. I'm not the I'm not the greatest at this. This is just the way that I do it. It's very simple, very inexpensive, and it's quick. You know, I like to build my cars, build them strong, but they are reinforced and I am choosing the strong plastics. I am not choosing the weak stuff. Uh-huh. So I hope this helps you guys, man. I'll just try to show a little bit. That's Eddie Block. The video has gotten kind of long. I hope you get something from this, from just looking at it, seeing how it goes. And all the calls are basically the same. They're the same, all of them. All right, that's Eddie Block. Peace.